Yes. Yeah, so, and candidate for th feeding therapy, you know, that's, it just depends. I mean, really anybody at any point in time can be a candidate for feeding therapy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a child because we're certainly concerned about children eating because if they don't eat, then they don't grow. And that's what we're looking for. Um, but again, in adults, we're looking for an adult that has significant amounts of anxiety around food. Uh, and really they're limiting their food choices. Maybe they're choosing not to date because they don't know what to do if it's not at a restaurant around food. Um, you know, in some adults, they may get such anxiety um, around food that they, like a child, will just become more and more restricted. Um, if there are any nutritional deficiencies that are developing, certainly. And as a dietitian, when I'm doing an assessment of somebody, I'm looking to see if there are any clinical signs, any physical signs for you know feeding therapy. So certainly you don't necessarily always have to do blood work to find out if there are deficiencies. You can look at somebody and tell based on the color of their skin, what their hair looks like, um, what their nails look like. So you don't always have to go, go through blood work. But anybody that's not eating significant amount of anxiety, those are the people that really do need to um, seek some help with a feeding therapist and maybe even a uh, counselor to help address those issues with anxiety.